Okay, this is now part 14 of DBZ Kakarot. And I won't lie, may as well get this started. Time to meet with the mysterious youth. And believe you me, last part was part 13. I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. Yeah, what he said. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me, and I won't go easy. Fine by me. Does it really have to come with that? All right, let's get started. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah, but I'm making it look easy. Come on, really? had his reasons I know a little technique called instant transmission instant transmission that's the end of that changed history for no reason then changed history that's what I want to know amazing you're just as good as I heard no better even okay I'll tell you everything but please it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines and they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, 
what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? <laughs> of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've, my mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To think she'd end up with Vegeta, of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well... I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm going to start training extra hard for the next three years. Nice, we get a rank two trunks medal. The soul emblem. And that takes care of the first fight. The first part of this arc. We at least get a lot of good story rewards too. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, 
Just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second... <laughs> That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, Instant Transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we'd better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and go on? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. 
We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. At least that's the only smart thing to do. Finally. Oh uh, yeah, training with Piccolo. I can't wait. I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. <laughs> yes, indeed. You are counting on that, you know. Nice. We also unlocked the continent center area as well as King Kai's planet area. Yep, there's a question. Castle Corp. Yeah, let's get started. With Goku now back on Earth, the mysterious young man asked to speak with him in private. He revealed his name to be Trunks and explained he's come from the future warned of a deadly threat that will appear in... Nice, we're in the gold trophy fountain of knowledge. Okay, so there are like a side mission here. In Goku's house. Let's first take care of the sub stuff first. So Yamcha, what have you been up to? Yo! <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Huh? <sighs> yeah. A competitive party with friends. Yeah, we'll do these submissions first before we continue. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep, let's head toward Luca Village. It's right there. Yep, this is where it's gonna have to be. And I really like how things have updated now. Now the situation's changed. We reach full on into the Android saga. But it actually starts with the future Trunks saga, then goes straight onto the androids. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Wait, wait a minute. That's the one. Nice, we got another D medal. Wait, what's this? Ah, there they are. Hey! Hi there! Hey! <laughs> Whoa, no way! Vegeta doesn't want to celebrate, but he's just sitting on the back. Give me a break. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, give it time. Yeah, but this gets Vita, Vegeta upset and motivated. Hey! <laughs> Wait! 
The only regret is you getting your butt kicked. Yeah, he has this obsession. You better give it your all. Fine, let's go Super Saiyan on your butt. Nuts, I hate it when he gets stunned. That did it. Sorry, Vegeta, but it looks like you kind of got ripped badly. Level up was worth it. All right. <laughs> hey now. Huh? Uh... What? What is this? <laughs> really, race with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Hey. All right, let's do this. Yeah, but it also serves as a nice tutorial to show off how it works. In bipedal RoboWalker time attacks, you're racing against the clock as you run and jump through checkpoints on your way to the goal. Arrows will appear next to your near your bipedal RoboWalker to show you the way. Touch boost rings to gain extra high down jumps and reach places you never thought you could. Who knows? Doing so might reveal some useful shortcuts. You have dismount, change direction, middle radar, and then jump. No sweat. Yeah. Man, this feels great. Woohoo! Yeah. Come on. Man, this feels great. Yeah, way too good. Yeah. Are you kidding? Wow, I do so bad, it's not funny! Sorry about that. I couldn't make it in time. There we go. Oh, we did so bad. Fine, let's try it again. All right. Let's hope we can do better this time. We did like so bad, it's not funny. Okay, let's see if we can try this again. Ah, 
I swear, how hard can this be, huh? Goku must be having way too much flaw in his hands. I bet this thing can go even faster. We should be able to make it, right? Yes, you can, Goku. Man, this feels great. And all I want to do is hold. Whoa. It's up there. I should have known. Yep, we gotta head higher. And I had all this time to realize it. Yep, gotta head higher. Batman, this feels great. Woohoo! Yeah. Almost got it. Yeah. Woohoo! And great. made it with only four seconds to spare. For like what five times and he fails <laughs> wait what he actually wins <laughs> this makes me upset Things haven't changed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that takes care of a story. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, though it was only temporary. Yeah, Vegeta's not pleased with it. Now that that's over, I think it's time to train. Indeed. Yeah, we already took care of that. Now let's hit the capsule. Let's hit the capsule corp before we continue on with the story. But yeah, it, it, it took a lot longer than it should. The good news is that we were able to get it done. So that's at least something. All right, Dr. Briefs. What'd you want? Let's see what Dr. Briefs wants. Hey there! Yo! Hey! Huh? No, no, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no! What do you think? So we need to come up with the next invention. 
Enter easygoing genius. Gotcha. Thank you. A skull rubble gear, a densite, and a silver hey. ore. All right. We need to gather the necessary materials. We may find some in the west area. We already got the silver ore, so that's good enough. All we have to do is get the rest. Now let's see, we need to find the Densite and the Skull Robo Gear. That won't take us that long. And yeah, they're coming along for the ride. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I wonder if that cave's big enough for me to train in. <laughs> Well, let's take care of them first. Fine, let's go Super Saiyan. Now it's been stunned. That did it. We got the Skull Robo Gear. Wait a minute. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Now he's got the seven star ball again. Might cause some trouble later. Let's do this. Fine. Breeze of four scouts. They're still alive. Looks like we unlock more rewards. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. We'll deal with them later. Right now we need to continue the mission. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. <laughs> Nice, I got stunned. Blasted bad to oblivion.
gotta find the now where could it have gone I'm trying to find some densite Where's the den site? I've already looked. This must be it. All right. <sighs> All right. That should do it. Yeah. Now let's head back to Dr. Brace and Capsule Corp. And we're done. And then we can move on. Yeah, I have what I need. Here you go. A super music machine? <sighs> that at least took care of the quest. Nice, we unlock his medal too. So this unlocks, I believe, another soul emblem. Good. Looks like it's all over. Yeah, that takes care of questing. Let's head back to Goku's house. Time to train. With all quests done, let's continue there with the story. Is. You know, Mom's been pretty mad at you for being away for so long. Really? I'm not looking forward to getting yelled at again. Bear with it. Chi Chi! I'm home! Hi, Mom! G Goku! H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me! You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried! Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that! What? You don't believe that, right? Come on, let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-Chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right, since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies. 
But would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. That is what I want to know. This three-year span has no end to this. so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh, what's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Kami informed Goku that the Dragon Balls only had a few wish uses left. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh... If you say so... But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. Better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. So that's what it was all about. Hey, Goku! Gajirobi, what's up? Now what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Y shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm. I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do.
So now we can make our own sensu beans. All right, then. Take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. All right, now we got to gather the items. Yep, in order to defeat the dis deadly assassin, Goku climbs Korin Tower. Well, Korin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Korin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I wonder yeah. what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. I hear you. Now we gotta find two areas where they'll be found. Gather the required items. But where? It doesn't say anything on the map. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember oh. when I first met him. Cut that monster clean in two. I see. Let's head to the sacred land of corn then. Let's find each of them one by one. Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. All right, we found the sage water down here. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah. He doesn't look like he trains. Gotta find the sage water. What's this? <laughs> we got a keeper. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him. He cut that monster clean in two. All right, this looks like it's it. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. That's what all Goku cares about. Looks like a great apple. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper. High quality. There's the fertilizer. Hmm? Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. You con man. Stunned. Wait, no, no stun. Goodbye. Whew. Huh. I see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. Nice, we got the fertilizer. At least with that, we got this quest done. I got what you wanted! Awesome, I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, Corrin, look! I got the stuff for you! You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh. Come on, man. 
I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. Nice, we got his medal. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Yeah, let's head back. We can now receive sensu beans. They'll grow after a set amount of time they acquired by visiting Corrin. Be sure to pick up some up before a tough fight. And don't worry, Corrin will sail to nine of them for you at one time. Now we need to head towards Blake Bog. Some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. Not interested. All right, time to train. Now we can train at last. Uh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Go on. I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Not bad. Now that's more like it. Come on, Joe. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. What? Is that all? Stop. That's enough, Go on. You and I are strong, too. If you didn't delay your return a year just to make an entrance. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Wow. I don't know you guys fight this way. You can tell it's going to happen. I don't know. Not done yet. Looking forward to whenever that is. Guys, hurry and take him down. This is all setting up for the three years, Art. Fine. Business. Is that it? So this is the power that was able to take down Freeza. I need you guys to get stronger. Stronger than Freeza. Yeah, and this is the only way. Eat this! That's the end of that! Fine by me. Need to work hard. Man! You've gotten stronger, Gohan! <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. Huh. 
You mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. Knowing Vegeta, he probably will. Goku's level 40. Thanks to the warning given by Trunks, the Z-Warriors are able to train accordingly and prepare themselves for the androids set to appear in three years. Vegeta, yearning to undergo extra harsh training, began to make some special arrangements. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? That's what I want to know. And we're going to end this part here because, well, we're already going way too long. But yeah, we're still in the three-year gap. We will be back in part 15. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. All of this helps out big time. Truly, it does. I will see you guys later. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.